well firstly we had a big folder with with you know a page on each property there were no photographs of houses it was just addresses and details of how big it was and the address and and the age etc then it progressed from there to maybe a small photograph and we were taking photos ourselves and then we'd go down to the Kodak place and have them printed off uh, the photographs and we'd use those in our window display um, and, and, and then eventually it came into print media but very slowly and, and as you know Peter Blackshaw were at the forefront of that, that sort of marketing. The Peter Blackshaw brand I do remember distinctly opening the paper, I hadn't been in real estate at the time but I do remember the sketch ads, it always stands out to me. You know those days we never used to advertise properties with pictures, it was just text, you know. And then all of a sudden this agency called Peter Blackshaw Real Estate, which were marketing quality property, actually had really nice sketch ads that really jumped out at you when you looked at them in the paper. And you know, they, they were originally black and white, but then they went to colour. That was like, oh my God. So you would have heard of, you know, the caravan or those days, uh, the entire group would jump on a bus and go and look at, you know, all the new homes each week. Um, and then you would, you would just call buyers that you were dealing with and try to describe the property to them and you know the size and the layout and then you'd, you'd, you'd pick people up, you'd pick them up in your car and you'd show them three or four homes and hopefully, fingers crossed, they'd buy one. <laughs> there was a reason why I started doing auctions is because uh, I started going to Peter Blackshaw auctions and thinking, wow, this is pretty cool. Um, it was a different way to sell property, obviously it was popular in the bigger cities but not so much here in Canberra. So that whole uh, auction process and the way they, they used to do them back in the days when they first started doing auctions made me want to become an auction agent and an auctioneer because it was entertaining, it, um, it, it, it helps, it helped my profile immensely. Because when you think, you think auctions, Peter Blackshaw. Or if you think Peter Blackshaw, you think auctions. Marketing a property in the late 90s, early 2000s was, was very interesting. Obviously in today's standards, it was, it's quite primitive. Nothing was ever the same. So you'd, as an agent, you'd have to pick a font that, you, that looked okay on a brochure. Our brochure was just a letterhead. It was just a letterhead top and bottom and we used to have black and white photos. Um, and a lot of the times the agents used to have to take photos themselves. So the rule was we would take the Polaroid camera from the, from the office when there was only ever one Polaroid camera and we'd stand out the front of your house and we'd take a Polaroid photo of your, of your home and we would glue stick it and put it on the front of the cover. This was our proposal document and then we would put in your letterbox. That was something that we used to use was a Polaroid camera. So we would put ads in the newspaper, maybe like a one line ad that might say like BTH for bathroom dot DBLE GGE double garage and then people would come into the office and we had a rental list like a printed list um, and they would request keys to go and view that property. We would take a $20 key deposit and a photocopy of their driver's license and off they'd trot to that one property or however many properties they were going to view. Well, we thought it was pretty advanced, but um, my boss used to talk into a dictaphone so I could type up uh, all the information and uh, all the ads were handwritten and then I was the one that would type them up and um, fax them over to the Canberra Times by deadline. Uh, yeah, so it was just, it was totally different, you know, yeah. It's the maturity of, of Canberra. It's shaken off that country town feel and you know, it's all starting to, to come together and, and starting to feel like a, you know, a city. And, um, and I think it's also becoming a bit of a destination for people to, that really consider for living and working and bringing up families. All the new suburbs that have come out in the last 10 years 
uh, have given people opportunities to, to break new barriers in terms of uh, design and, and um, uh, getting something that's t completely out of the box. And it excites a lot of people to, to build a new home and challenge themselves every couple of years. So we're seeing a, a regular turnover of people going you know, from, from the little, little three bedroom modest home to the, to the four bedroom family home to the funky uh, designs that we're seeing today. And, and so it's, yeah, it's, it's ever changing out there all the time. You know, historically, 30 years um, servicing the Canberra marketplace, and over those 30 years, we've been the first to do a number of things. Um, and and I think we're deep in in conversation and planning at the moment around that technology, uh, what what is coming. I think trying to remain at the forefront there is always important. Um, so I'm really excited about how we can do that and how we can shape our services uh, for the client going forward. I think when it comes to working for Peter Blackshaw Real Estate, it, it's it's about the family and it's about about the community, it's about looking after each other. And Stella Bella, the charity that we are affiliated with, we you know the difference that it makes to her and to the community. Um, we're, we're very very proud to do that. I think a lot of the administrative side of, of what we do, and there's a, some of that will be taken by technology and become uh, simpler through technology, certainly. Um, but I think at the pointy end of, of the transaction negotiating a property and, and some validation to some degree of, of the spend that that person is about to, to make or that investment they're about to make in, in one of their biggest assets. I think there'll always be a human need uh, it, within that process. Yeah. Buying a property is not something you do every day, it's something that we do every day so we're able to provide people with the right guidance and the right assistance so that we can help them along their journey. So yeah, it's, there's nothing, nothing's more satisfying when you've got someone who's um, very happy with, with the experience that you gave them all those years ago for them to just, yeah, just to have that trust in you. It's, it, it, it's amazing and, and, and the trust that you've earned with those people, um, you know, that's, there's not, nothing better than that.